Hello. Um, so this is a song that I love a lot. Um, and uh, I hope you like it too. So it's my favorite song. Um, For three hours and nobody knew Everyone thought I ran away But I came back and I smelled like A piece of a shoe I left my life by the bridge I walked in the snow in the place of the new Westminster's bridge I wondered where I was going And I hoped I could get back I didn't run away, I just wanted to get away for a little bit No one cared it was the same time that I tried to die Everyone thought I was just a lie I said I swallowed 50 Advils And they said no you didn't And I said yes I did I'm going to die And they didn't care They said why would you do that And they looked at the bottle And they kept trying to figure out if I was lying All they ever do is say they're lying They're pieces of shit And they have nothing in their brains they're horrible people and they shouldn't be working for people who try to fix brains if they have a sick brain themselves. So, yes, I looked into the light and I saw my people so big. I said, oh my god, this Advil is making me sick. Um, please help me. They put me in the hospital, but they let me sit in the waiting room for three and a half hours with absolutely no medical attention after I swallowed 50 Advils. They wanted me to die. They don't like me. They're not helping me. And these same people are following me in my life. So, I hope that everyone understands that the hospital is a place for healing if you have a broken bone or you break your hand. But not if you're sick, like, in your soul, or like your spirit, or like curious about the world. You do something bad, they shouldn't put you in the hospital. If you say something to somebody, they shouldn't assume you're crazy. These people are liars and they have a lot of power because they're so fucking lazy. They can't do anything for themselves and they work for the mental health industry because they want to get paid. But hey, maybe I'll get to fucking see them one day if I'm on the top of my life and I can go back and look and say, hey, you tried to kill me and I have that for a fact. I know for a fact that you a million times over. Put me in rooms, strip me down naked, rip off my hair and tell me I have to live with it. They tell me, oh, take off your jewelry, you don't need it in there. We're going to take off your hair too, and no, you don't have anything to wear. Don't take a shower for three days. Lay in the fucking same place. Have your mattress be made out of rubber and have a lead blanket and no pillow to cover your head. You don't film the entire time. Try to do that ten million times when you tell them that you feel sick because you fucking think that you have brain damage because you swallowed something from a health food store that made you sick. Sweet of science and people that want to kill you are fucking driving me nuts and I just want to get away. I will though and I'll do it in the fucking best way. So don't be lithium in my aloe vera anymore because it does kind of help me. I stay on the floor, it makes you heavy, molecular weight, it makes you tired, but it makes you heavy. So don't take it if you're not fucking dead. 